Welcome to the iROM Model Builder tutorial series. In this video, we will show you how to create a micro mirror with the iROM Sketcher. At first, we load the micro mirror project file, which is located in the project folder. In this example, we will cover all the steps that are necessary to create a parametric micro mirror model with two mass bodies. After opening the Sketcher interface, we will start with a half model of the outer mirror plate. As you draw the first rectangle, you can see the cursor position in the lower left corner of the screen. Then we create a rectangular cut for the torsion springs. Next, a rectangle is added that defines the spacing between inner and outer springs. And finally, the circular cut for the inner mirror plate is placed. All defined shape elements belong to groups with a layer, a body and a material reference number. Group properties can be changed and apply to all group elements. To illustrate this, the body number of the outer mirror is changed from 1 to 2 and the color from orange to red. In a next step, we create the inner mirror plate at the center. Individual mass bodies must have different body IDs. And finally, we define the anchor block on the right. Body IDs for anchors must be set to zero. Now let's create all the connecting springs. Existing connecting points can be used multiple times to connect different springs to one other. Next, we are going to mirror all items around the vertical axis with the exception of the circular cut in the center. With this modeling step, we want to show that the order of shape elements influences Boolean subtractions. The circular cut must be moved to the end of the group list so that it is applied to all items of the outer mass. Finally, we define the bottom plate conductors for electrostatic actuation. We start with a rectangular plate that is placed under the micromirror in layer 2. The vertical position is defined in the layers window. In order to define plate capacitors, the type flag of group properties must be changed to plate capacitors PCAPs. In addition, you can assign a label for the electrical voltage port and check the associated mass body number. Other shape elements can be added or subtracted to the plate capacitance as shown for the cut in the center. The same approach is used for the lower capacitor. Click, Save and Build, to export the Micromirror example to the Model Builder environment. Appropriate design variables are required to create a parametric MEMS model. Design variables can either be parameters or mathematical expressions. In the given example, the design parameter 1 is the radius of the inner mirror, parameter 2 is the gap between the inner and outer mirror plate. Design variables or mathematical expressions can be assigned to all shape elements in the Properties tab. For example, the mirror radius is assigned to the inner mirror. Other variables are assigned to the outer mass or to the spring connecting points. Design variables can be changed and have an immediate effect on all model properties. Geometrical dimensions can be checked using the measuring tab. The mirror diameter is 606.3 micrometer and corresponds to the specified values. Now, click, Save and Build, to export the parametric sketcher model. Click, Build ROM, to get a simulation model. 
and finally run a modal analysis. For the given example, the anti-phase torsion mode with a frequency of 48 kHz will be used for practical applications. This video showed an example of using the new Sketcher interface to create a parametric MEMS model. A documentation of the mirror example and further simulation details can be found in our user manuals. Hope you enjoyed this video.